Hi, I'm Brad Seipert and I make YouTube videos that teach you software development. Today we're going to take Svelte and Auth.js and push them together. Let's get started. So we're going to start a new Svelte kit project. I'm going to go ahead and take the npm create. Uh, I'm going to relaunch iTerm2 apparently. Sorry about that. Should be quick. Wow, so quick. Uh, we'll update on my Z shell later. I'm going to go to my projects folder. I'm going to run npm create svelte latest uh, my app. Um, maybe we could come up with a better name for that. So let's do that. Instead of my app, we'll say auth tutorial. Uh, it needs to install the following packages. Yeah, that's fine. Create svelte. OK, um, I just want a skeleton project. Bare bones scaffolding for your new svelte kit app. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we're going to use TypeScript because we're cool. We'll use ESLint, we'll use Prettier, Vtest. Um, we don't necessarily need the Svelte 5 preview. So we'll install some things. Now we can CD into auth tutorial, npm install. And in the meantime, while this runs, I'm going to go to auth.js. There is a reference document here um, that's really easy to use. Uh, we'll just follow along with this. So our install should be just about finished. Maybe. OK, we'll npm install at auth svelte kit. And while this is running, we're going to go to GitHub, and we're going to create a new OAuth application. Um, and GitHub is going to be, oh, Canva is now a GitHub secret scanning partner. That's cool. Uh, GitHub OAuth is what we are going to um, authorize our application with. So we will go down to a settings, developer settings here, OAuth apps, new OAuth app, uh, auth tutorial, um, homepage, local host, heck yeah. Um, so we have an authorization callback URL. So we want this, localhost 5173 slash auth slash callback slash GitHub. Um, hit register application. It's going to give us a client ID, and then it's also going to give us a client secret. We'll need both of these in just a moment. So we'll come back to our terminal. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, open, let's go ahead and open VS Code for this one. Okay, so I'm assuming you have a little bit of understanding of Svelte Kit um, and Svelte, but if you don't, hopefully this won't be too hard to follow along. So we have a page route here. Uh, let's go ahead and run this. So we'll go ahead and npm run dev. Um, I think it gave us a command to run it with open, dash dash space dash dash open. Let's give that a shot. The Svelte server crashed, that's not good. Okay, so we're here. We're not gonna make this look pretty by any means, but what we are going to do is we're going to add a script tag up here, um, and we can set the lang equal to ts, close out our script tag, see the output for more information. I am going to try to restart the language server and hope it doesn't crash, um, because it will be helpful here. It crashed five times. What's going on? Module not found. Which one? Roll up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. This is a weird issue. I ran into this on my M1 um, the other day. I'm going to go to another Svelte kit repo and just find the line in my package JSON that I need. Um, there's a good chance you won't need to do this, but if you're on an M1 like I am and you run into this issue, uh, you will need to do this. Um, so you can just specify an override to point to the uh, Wasm node version of, um, uh, shoot, uh, roll up. Could not think of the name of it. So something like that. Uh, now if we npm install, okay, good to go. Restart the language server. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time. It did crash five times. Okay, well, we'll we'll run without the language server. Sorry about that. Uh, so we want to do a couple different things. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and in our project here, we're gonna create an environment file. And let me just double check the location for that. Uh, but I believe it needs to be, oh, we aren't committing the environment. Yeah, okay, so it needs to be right here. So if we do a dot env in the root, we can add a GitHub client ID whoop, and paste our GitHub client ID, which comes from this. And then we'll paste our GitHub secret. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate a new secret. Um, we will use password. And then I will delete this OAuth application right after this tutorial. So you don't have to worry about my key being used improperly. Okay, so we have a secret. Now we can come back here and type GitHub client secret. I'll also try to blur those out. Um, these will be loaded by our Svelte environment. Man, I'm really bummed about the language server crashing. And then uh, we can go back to our documentation here. We're gonna create a new file under source called hooks.server.ts. And we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. Uh, some of these things will change, right? So this isn't GitHub ID, this is GitHub client ID. And this is GitHub client secret. Okay, and then we'll use those here. So GitHub client secret, GitHub client ID. Just make sure the names match. Um, I'm seeing a red underline here because my Svelte language server is uh, having some issues at the moment, um, but that shouldn't be the case for you. If, if it shows up with a red underline, give it a second and Svelte will recompile and generate the types for you. Okay, so great. Now that we're here, um, you, they have other examples here in the documentation. This is helpful. Uh, if you are looking at any of this stuff, you should definitely read the documentation as well. And then they give you an example here. So we're going to take um, this, sign in, and sign out. We don't need that script tag, don't know why it grabbed it. And we're gonna add a button. Button, um, on click, and we wanna call sign in. Oops, sorry, we'll make this an anonymous function. Sign in, GitHub. Oh man, yeah, the language server not working is really unfortunate. Uh, sign in. We'll also make a button here that says sign out. And you don't need to pass a provider for the sign out call. We should probably make this say sign out. And now that we've done that, let's go look at our application. Oh, we need to run it again. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is running. Close out that other tab. Okay, so we have a sign in and a sign out. Uh, you'll notice that we are getting an error here. Um, I was trying to trigger this again, mainly because this generates some new pages for you, like an auth page. Um, so it's telling us that we need to define a secret. There's a couple different ways you could do this. You could add it to your environment variable called auth secret, uh, like so, and it should look that up for you. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna to go to um, Vercel, has a generate-secret.vercel.app slash 32. It'll generate you a 32 character secret. So we'll use that. I'll go ahead and restart the application. I don't think I needed to. V probably would have reloaded that for me, but old habits die hard. Okay, now if we hit sign in, it takes us to GitHub. We hit authorize. We get redirected back to our application. We're now signed in. That takes care of just about everything, and that's that's OAuth for Svelte Kit. Let's do one more thing. Um, it doesn't necessarily make sense to only show sign in and sign out both. Uh, we should probably show the one that's relevant for the user, right? So we have a couple options here. We can do an if, um, and then maybe we wanna do an else. And then maybe we want to end that if. And we'll do something like this. Obviously, we need to add a conditional to this if, so we'll do that in just a second. 
Um, there's more information on the documentation here about specifically storing the session uh, so that it's available. Um, this is actually really nice. So they show you here how you can add source layout or source routes layout uh, TS. We're gonna do this, but I just wanted to point out like this is something that they are showing you here, um, how to do it. You can just copy this from the documentation. So that file source routes layout server TS. So we do plus layout server .ts. Oop, and I accidentally made that a folder. I want a file plus layout.server.ts. And then we can paste this here. Event.locals.get session. Okay. And this is a little weird. Like where does where does this come from? Um, this is handled by so it tells you right here, custom data that was added to the request within the handle hook. Where's the handle hook? Right here. Um, we're setting it equal to the Svelte kit auth. So this uh, module here is taking care of setting that up for us. Um, so now we have access to the session, right? And you can see here on page server load, you can do things like event.locals.get session. Um, and then you can, you know, plug that into your application as well. So if we come back to our Svelte page, if, uh, so we want our page data, sorry, one second just double checking the docs here yeah okay so it gets added to the store so we want not the whole thing so we want if page dot data dot session is not equal to null let's see what this gives us so we have sign out now if we hit sign out you see that we cleared our session and we can sign in again. If we sign in again, it actually won't necessarily authorize the application again because the way OAuth works, we don't need to trigger a reauthorization here um, because you've already authorized it. And we have that in session storage, session memory. So uh, you're able to just re-up your session like that and sign in, sign out, bada bing, there you go. Now you have access to the session. So this item right here or this item right here, um, that, that's how you'll access the logged in user and get that session. You can get email address, any, anything OAuth that you would request. Um, and I just wanna take one quick second to plug AuthJS one more time, um, mainly because of their massive amount of login providers. So if you wanted to allow people to log in with Coinbase, Discord, FreshBooks, uh, Identity Server 4, Instagram, I, I don't know what half of these are to be honest, but um, plenty of options. And these are just the official providers. There are hundreds of other unofficial providers. So um, hopefully this helps. Svelte Kit has been fantastic for me. I've been learning it recently and have just been loving everything that I've been building with it. AuthJS makes auth so easy. It's so nice. Oh, sorry, um, getting a little excited. And I just wanted to share that. So hopefully if you're building a Svelte Kit application, you can also use AuthJS, put them together and have something work really well for you like I'm having it work really well for me. All right, that's it. Have a great day.